basic menu and operation of the Durrani 700 series. To get into the menu, the three-way directional controller, press it in towards the monitor. And that will bring up the main menu. If you go into system, you can adjust the language, which is preset at English, the time, and it has information. The main adjustment will be time. So if you press, move the three-way adjuster, the menu option that you go to enlarges. And then when you want to press in towards the monitor to enter that menu feature. To, to adjust, press in towards the monitor on the component you want to adjust. And then you go up and down accordingly to set the time and date. So once you've set day, day, month, month, year, year, you can then move across to the date. You can set the day and the month, the year, and you can continue on and then you can set the time. If you continue down to the green arrow, that's the back button. And we'll go back again to the next menu option. The other feature that you generally will change is the ring. So we have ring select, which goes through a series of different ring types for the different two door stations you have, or ring volume. Within the ring volume setting, there's three time zones. Each one of those time zones, they can't overlap, and each one of those time zones can have a different ring time and volume if you want night time ringing. We recommend to keep them all the same. So if you scroll across to the first 08, that is the ring volume and is adjustable from 0 through to 10. The second function is the time that it rings. We recommend five seconds, it's usually enough for the ring time, however you can increase that. Just as I say, ensure that you don't have any overlapping in your ring volumes. Button voice is the beeps that you can hear. We recommend leaving those on because then you know that's where you are pressing. We'll go back. Under mode, the installer settings, we have at the top mode, master, and we have slaves. So you should always have one master in the system and up to three slaves. The other functions are the connection, which generally doesn't need to change. Door 2 status, if you are adding a second door to the system, you need to turn this on to enable door 2 to ring and to be viewed. And your unlock times, door 1 and door 2 unlock times. Generally speaking, for an electric strike, 5 seconds. And for a electric type gate, one second. The other settings we generally don't change. Alarm settings aren't used in this model. Color, you can adjust your camera colors to adjust for different brightnesses and contrasts uh, due to the environment that the system is installed for your different door stations. The camera features aren't used in this model. And files are your record files and your snapshot files. Under snapshot files, it will list the picture recordings that happen every time somebody presses a doorbell, it takes a snapshot of that visitor. And you can view those and delete those in this menu option. By pressing in on it using the three-way controller, we can play or we can delete all the files. Yes, and press in and it will delete those files. And then we can go back and exit out of the menu. That's the main menu features that we have. Along the bottom here, we've got our monitor button. Pressing this monitor button brings up the door camera. Intercommunicate button, if you've got two monitors installed on the system, you press this button and it will ring the second monitor. Your unlock button, once the monitor is active, the unlock button will unlock for that predetermined time preset. And this is your talk button. So when you do get a call, 
from the door station. It will ring. You can answer the door station like so. We can unlock and then just hang up. And that's as simple as to use the system.